guys, how's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good here. Thank you for asking. So today is a little discussion, not just about bicycles, but about uh, everything we do, uh, or everything we can do to try to help ourselves uh, get through another day. Um, cycling. Cycling is great. It helps you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, as does going to the gym, as does walking and jogging and golfing and tennis and all these other things that you can do. What sets cycling apart is the ease, uh, the ease of which it acts upon your body. There's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of impact whenever you're riding a bike. So it allows you to continue to cycle longer as far as time goes and longer as far as years go as opposed to say jogging and, and uh, more sports related activities. Uh, the only other thing that comes close and I would say they're probably about neck and neck would be swimming. So uh, if you are looking to escape the world and escape some troubles and to clear your mind, I suggest highly finding something to do. Keeping your mind busy, uh, keeping, keeping your reflexes going, making you think and, uh, and do things uh, out of the ordinary, you know? I, and I'm like anyone else. I'll sit here at my desk all day long, wasting away on Facebook, YouTube, etc. I'm no different than anyone else. But when the time comes, it's nice to get out there, and I know it's time to get out there and get on the road. Or get on the trails, whichever uh, the day calls for. Uh, I am more of a road cyclist. Uh, I don't ride your standard road bike as a lot of you know if you watch my videos. So I won't get into all that. But uh, and, uh, and another thing that that might sway you from getting out and being active is the sweat, the pain, the agony. Well guys that's just a part of it. Uh, the old saying goes, uh, nothing worthwhile comes easy. I believe it's something to that effect. And it's true. You're not going to go outside and hop on your bicycle and go down the road with big smiles and just enjoy yourself the whole entire time. It's not going to happen. Very big common misconception. And that floors a lot of people that are new to cycling, new to anything. Uh, just like working out, cycling is a workout. Uh, it is not easy. You're going to sweat, you're going to burn, you're going to be in pain, and then you're going to have the moments in between where it's relaxing and it's great, and you do find yourself smiling and like enjoying being out there, and then you're going to hit that hill, and you're going to have to go up that hill. You don't get to just go down them. So there is a lot of work to it. And a lot of people are swayed uh, and talked out of doing things because maybe how old they are or how big they might be. I've went on bike rides with people twice my age, like 70s, 80s, and I had trouble keeping up with them. I did my first century, first and probably only, I don't know century in roughly uh, March of 2017 and a lady went with me and she was about 65, 64, 65 somewhere in there whenever she went with me and I, I could hardly keep up with her. As a matter of fact she would leave me going up hills to the point that she would be pulled over waiting on me over the hill or she'd go in a store waiting on me to finally show up so age has nothing to do with it. Your weight 
it doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay, you're not going out there and trying to jog 10 miles. You're going out there, you're sitting on a bike, you're pedaling. There's obese people that ride bikes. There's fat people, fluffy people, thick people. You know, I'm rolling around 260s all day long. I'm not a little guy, you know. Wish I was, but I'm not a little guy. And uh, if I get out there and I do my rides, and you can too, there's no reason that you can't. Uh, the only reason that you can't is you talk yourself out of it or you let yourself become lazy and compla complacent. Is that the word I'm looking for? Complacent? You know what I'm looking for. Uh, we become accustomed to coming home and sitting down and turning on the TV or turning on the computer or sitting on our phones or playing our video games or, you know, we become accustomed to those things. And there's a whole host of activities that we could be doing and living life. And there's nothing wrong with sitting down and doing those things. Nothing wrong. But really we should all be doing it in moderation. Just like the way we eat. We love cheeseburgers, pizzas, french fries. And they're okay. In moderation. I haven't figured that one out yet. One day I will. So, I just want people to know that no matter who you are, how old you are, what you weigh, um, what activity you're trying to do, be it riding a bike or hiking, jogging, tennis, golf, etc., video games, whatever it is you're doing, uh, you can do it if you put your mind to it. Uh, there's a lot of days whenever I could cut my rides off at 11, 11 and a half miles, because if you know me, if you watch my videos, uh, I like to get in at least 11 miles, okay? I like to get the very least 11 miles and the most is whatever. Normally my mileage is between 11 and 15 miles. Nothing great, nothing that's going to win me any awards, but that's the mileage that I kind of stick around. Now, if I go more, great, but I try never to go less than 11, even if it's pouring down rain on me. Get a plan, stick to it, stick to your goal, get out there, don't let people sway you and talk you out of doing things, don't let yourself talk you out of doing things. Get out there, be great, live your life, and never look back. And another thing, don't forget guys, get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it, no matter your age, your weight, or the activity that you choose to do. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, share. I get no monetization, no ads on my videos, no nothing. I do all this for free because I love it. And I love you guys too. So have a good day.